Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit 2018 here in Geneva. My next guest is Irakli Beritze. He's in charge of a Unicree Center on Artificial Intelligence and Robotics based in The Hague. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you for inviting. So to start with, let's talk about uh, this project you have presented at the summit this year. It focuses on the impact of AI-induced automation on society. So can you share your insights with us? That's right. I think one of the biggest issues which has been debated around the uh, issue of artificial intelligence is whether it's going to take our jobs away or not. There have been a lot of research out there, people debating whether 20 to 70 percent of the uh, jobs will be lost, which segments, which ge geographical locations, or where this will be impacted. Our project is uh, there to examine how AI-induced automation is going to impact social stability of the developing uh, countries and transition economies. Right. So basically what we want to know is that we want to understand in which countries the um, jobs will, uh, in which countries jobs are going to be affected, and how this is going to be affected on issues like migration, increase of crime rates, and so on and so forth. So, what sort of negative effects it is going to have on uh, on our societies? So what's the conclusion so far? Well, I mean, this is in a very early stage. Uh, we developed the concept of the project and we presented at the summit. And the idea of, uh, of this presentation and the idea of the summit is to generate more of this kind of projects and to see what, uh, what partners we will have to start implementing the project. So far, the project is going to be led by our center. Unicre Center on AI and Robotics, supported by the World Economic Forum and Cambridge-based uh, Center for uh, Future Intelligence. So tell, him, tell us more about the, uh, the center you, you oversee. It's newly launched, isn't it? What that, do you do there exactly? That's right. Yes, yes. Uh, only a few months ago, we, uh, with support of the Kingdom of the Netherlands and some other partners and the uh, UN agency like Unicre, we launched the Center on AI and Robotics. That's actually one <coughs> a specific center which will be dealing with uh, with issues of AI and robotics and it will have uh, more sort of a, we will examine the security and crime implications of, uh, of this issue. So we are going to examine the risk benefit duality. We're not only looking at the risks of AI, we're also looking at the benefits. So we want to maximize the benefits and minimize the risks all, all associated with this technology. Because AI has many benefits when it comes to fighting crime, for instance. And in fact, you've been working on a project with Europol, haven't you, on this issue? That's Interpol, correct. It with, in, with Interpol. Okay. Obviously, uh, <coughs> uh, obviously, AI is going to be one of the major driving factors for crime prevention in the future, but also criminals will definitely be using this technology for different type of malicious uh, purposes. Therefore, we uh, recently launched cooperation with Interpol Center for Innovation, which is based in, in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, in July, 11th and <coughs> 12th of July, we're going to conduct <coughs> the first global meeting on risks and opportunities of AI for law, law enforcement. And uh, this meeting is going to be an expert level meeting, which is going to come up with recommendations for the UN member states as well as for the Interpol member states to see what are the opportunities for the law enforcement agencies to use such technology and uh, at the same time, what are the risks associated to that and, and what will be the criminals um, using it. We will have some sessions related to the ethics and legal implications of it as well because uh, we want to make sure that whatever the law enforcement agencies will be using, this will be fit in the ethical framework of our understanding. <coughs> And at the same time, we will try to project what is coming, what technology is coming. Therefore, this is a multi-stakeholder event when we will have uh, industry participating there, academia participating, mem uh, governments and, and experts uh, alike. You were here last year for the launch of the AI for Good Global okay. Summit. How different is it from, from from last year in terms of you know the debates, the discussions? How much has changed? Well, first of all, I, I, I want to say that I really admire the leadership of ITU and XPRIZE to organize such events starting from last year. It was the first big event when all major UN agencies came as a partners of uh, of this year uh, of this summit to come together to bring their expertise, their uh, ideas, and their energy into uh, making sure that AI is used for the good purposes in contributing to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, we were one of the first partner agencies which supported this. I'm really happy to say that I was uh, here last year, actively contributed, and and uh, and I'm again here on the second time. Now, 
a lot has changed from the first year to now. A lot of momentum momentum has been generated when while we had uh, around 20 agencies, UN agencies supporting last year, uh, this year we have something like 32 agencies, mm -hmm. number almost increased 50% uh, or more. At the same time, this year we have something very unique. We have uh, a summit created a platform for generating real projects. Like I explained earlier, a project which we presented, there are some other organizations and institutions which also came up with the concrete projects and there are people who are interested in partnering with the project, funding the project and, and, uh, and uh, supporting it as well. So this summit is turning into, or one of the major deliverables of the summit is that it's turning into a platform of generating projects, implementing projects, and hopefully next year we will come and report on the findings of the projects as well. So that's a really major shift from talking about the issue, moving into the concrete implementation of some concrete ideas, which is going to uh, help uh, countries benefit people and societies. Mr. Berry, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.